Putin bad news. The decades of inactivity were blamed for the crash of the Russian moon lander. To become the first spacecraft to land on the South Pole of the Moon, where scientists believe important reserves of frozen water and precious elements may exist, the pilotless Luna 25 was supposed to make its touchdown today. According to Yuri Borisov, Director General of Roscosmos, the spacecraft's engines were turned on over the weekend to put Luna 25 into a pre landing orbit, but they did not shut down properly, sending the lander crashing down onto the Moon. The original estimate was for 84 seconds, but it ran smoothly for 127. Borisov stated this to Russia 24 on behalf of the Russian government. Earlier on Sunday, Roscosmos was in contact with the spacecraft, but after that, all contact was lost and the device passed into an open lunar orbit and crashed into the surface of the moon, he said. Russia's first lunar mission since its incorporation into the Soviet Union in 1976. The Soviet Union, the United States, and China are the only countries to have successfully landed on the moon. The main reason for the failures is the negative experience of interrupting the lunar program for almost 50 years, Borisov said, adding that ending the program now would be the worst decision ever for Russia. An Indian spacecraft launched on July 14 was competing with the Luna 25 to be the first to the South Pole. Between August 22 and 24, both were scheduled to arrive at the moon. The Indian spacecraft that attempted to land at the South Pole of the Moon in 2019 crashed into the lunar surface. The Vostochny Cosmodrome in Russia's Far East is where Luna 25's launch occurred on August 11. The spaceport is vital to Russian President Vladimir Putin's plans to make Russia a space superpower and is one of his pet projects. To prove Russia is a state capable of delivering a payload to the Moon, as Roscosmos put it before liftoff, and to ensure Russia's guaranteed access to the moon's surface, as Roscosmos put it afterward. After the accident, the Russian space agency said the moon mission was meant to secure Russia's technological sovereignty and defense capability in the future. Borisov declared on Monday that the competition to exploit the moon's natural resources had officially begun. In the not-too-distant future, the moon will serve as an excellent launching pad for interplanetary expeditions. Russia's space program has suffered as a result of sanctions imposed after the country invaded Ukraine nearly 18 months ago. Analysts speculated that the Luna 25 was originally designed to transport a small moon rover, but this plan was scrapped in order to reduce the craft's weight and increase its reliability. Russia's space agency chief said today that the Luna 25 spacecraft crashed into the moon because its engines did not shut down properly, and he blamed the delay in lunar exploration by his country, which has lasted decades. The lunar South Pole is of particular interest because scientists think that frozen water in the rocks of the permanently shadowed polar craters could be converted into air and rocket fuel by future explorers.